G'day all, Chris here from Dirk Gear Australia and we've got the Ram 1500 back up on the hoist. So we're here at uh, Garfield Service Centre in Taru and meet the owner, young Dave. So Dave's doing all the work on the truck today. So what are you doing today on the truck, Dave? As little as possible. As little as possible. <clears throat> no, no, uh, long range field team. Um, just a general 20,000 k service. And, um, and there was a few doing other things. The defoil? On yeah, that 20,000 k service? Change the diff oil, it was, yeah, it was quite grotty for 20,000 kilometres, so I uh, thought it happens. was a good idea to uh, get it in and get it done while we could. So uh, Craig's just attempting now to get the fuel tank out and we'll throw a new one in there and see how it goes. You might even be able to make it to Newcastle and back on the tank of fuel. <laughs> Everyone likes to put a bit of a joke in about the Rams uh, fuel economy. Hence why we're getting the long range automotive tank. Now that's a 190 litre fuel tank, okay? So the standard tank's about a 97 litre tank. Yeah. This one, 190 yeah. litre tank. So hopefully I'll get a bit further down the road. So why a long range fuel tank, you know, instead of running jerry cans or anything else like that? Well, the Ram 15, my Ram 1500 is a daily driver, okay, and I get sick of filling it up weekly. So this is going to be really good. I'm going to get around town for one or two or three, hopefully three weeks without having to fill it up. We've also got a Simpson Desert trip planned, okay, so I've got to get from Birdsville to Mount Dare in five days, and there's no fuel stops over there, and I don't want to be carrying jerry cans and having loose fuel floating around in the back. Next thing is we've got a Cape York trip coming up at some point, uh, and we've been planning for that. And last but not least, I brought a van, I'm getting old, there's a few greys starting to show. So when you're towing a van, you know your fuel economy drops a little bit more. So I just want to be able to get further down the road without having to worry about fuel stops as much. Okay, so one of the things you've got to worry about with all vehicles, okay, is your GVM weight. The new long range automotive tank weighs 80 kilos. Hey Dave, can I ride on this van as a whiteboard? Yeah, thanks mate. Okay, so we've done a few quick calculations because one of the things you've got to take into account is you start making some of these changes, you've got to start worrying about your GVM and your tow weights and everything else like that because we've only got so much we can play with. So having a look at it, I reckon the original tank's around about 40 kilos. Now we're yet to weigh that and check that. And if we threw 100 litres of fuel in there, okay, that's about another 135 litres. So that brings us to 170 kilos of weight that's in the truck originally. Now the new tank weighs 80 kilos, so it's twice as heavy as the original tank. And it's going to take 200 litres of fuel, so that's another 135 kilos of fuel weight in there. So that brings us to an additional weight of 175 kilos. So take that into consideration when you start doing some of these upgrades. The other thing to think about is that in Tari, we pay $1.50 for fuel, okay? Um, another 190 litres of fuel at $1.50 is... $285 to fill that tank now. Why I don't like plastic fuel tanks is my wife hired a car down in Melbourne there once, one of those little cars, and she was heading out west of Melbourne. And she was coming back following a truck, and the truck in front hit a kangaroo as they do in, in Australia, and went under the truck, and then she hit it in this little car. It was such a small little car that the kangaroo, as it went underneath the car, lifted the back of the car up, punctured the fuel tank, okay? so. You know, we all can punch a fuel tanks four wheel driving and everything else like that out there, but I think it's a lot harder to punch a, a three mil alloy fuel tank over a plastic fuel tank. 